Hey guys, so I have a Sam's Club haul. I'm hoping that this is the only store I'll hit up this week. I may need a gallon or two of milk, but I'm gonna try to see if I can make it till next Friday um, and see if I can do that. Um, I do still have a little bit of milk left over. For some reason, we just didn't drink it as much. Um, I know why me and my husband haven't really been doing our shakes as frequently. So we're gonna hold off on our shakes to let the milk stretch a little bit longer. Um, so I'll share with you what we picked up. I did pick up some of these Halloween pretzels these were $7.98 for the two pound um, container of them. It came up with 66 in here. Um, I was gonna get these at Target, but for 36 count, which is a pound of it, it said, was $6.99. So $7.98 at Sam's Club was the better deal. I got double the amount for basically the same price. We were completely out of dinosaur nuggets for the kids, so I picked up this. This is a four pound bag for $11.98. I was also running low on our ranch, so I picked up one of these. These were $5.28. I was also low on sour cream. Sour cream was $5.32 for the three pounds. I didn't have any chorizo in my freezer. I went to go make something the other day and noticed we were out. So I picked up the four count for $7.36, so thought that was a really good deal there. Um, I also picked up three markdown meats. Um, I think I told you the ham. Ham I was out of as well. For $6.98 for one pound, um, we had no more lunch meat. For the markdown meats. So these weren't planned. I wanted to see if they did have any in store. Um, and they had tons today. I was so tempted to get up a lot more. Um, but I wanted to stay within my $100 budget for this week. Um, so I stuck with three. And then the cuts that I decided to get was... I got a pound and a half of flank steak, I think pound and a half-ish, of uh, uh, flank steak. Originally, it would have been $20. I got it for $15, so $5 off. Pretty good deal there. I also got some flat meat. Again, $21 originally got it for $16, $5.30 off for there as well. So already with these two, I already saved $10 in meat. And then the third thing that I picked up was a little bit more expensive of a cut, but I wanted to pick these up. These were the um, New York strip steaks and they were originally $42 and I got paid, um, I paid $31.65. I saved $10.50 off of there. So in total, I saved $20 in meat. So I thought that was a really good stock up price. Um, and then these will probably last for two meals two meals and then this I could probably cut it in half for two meals as well um so it's about eight meals right there I thought that was a really good deal I'll go ahead and package these separately cut them up what I need to things like that and then yeah that's everything that I got at Sam's Club at Sam's Club I did pay $107.66 so seven dollars over what my goal was which is not bad, especially I probably could have got two other meats if I didn't get this one. I probably could have got two more of this price range, but I saw the New York steaks and $10 off was a pretty good deal. So that is everything that I got at Sam's Club. And yeah, I'll talk to you guys in the next one. This week I have a small Walmart haul. I don't need anything really for the week. Um, so I wanted just to pick up what I needed for the meals. Um, and then just obviously the milk replenishment. Milk was $3.21 each at Walmart. I got four this week. Um, we were able to make it just till Thursday. Um, I also got some tortillas. We're completely out. We do have corn left, but I was out of flour. So I picked up a 24 count of flour tortillas for $4.93 and then the great value brand of burrito size for $1.85. Um, we're going to be making some chipotle um, uh steak fajita quesadillas so we're going to try that recipe out um and then i just needed regular tortillas um they didn't have the walmart brand so we just picked up the regular guerrero brand i needed some butter so i ended up doing imperial since it was cheaper it was 349 for this big 45 ounce so it's fine i don't really use it as much anymore just more for like um spreading butter and stuff so that'll last us a while Potatoes, I want to do some baked potatoes, so I picked up three, and it came up to 204 for these. They're not the best shaping ones, but it'll work for what we're going to do it for, obviously. Um, I got a thing of mints just because I was out for 247 
I also picked up another box of this potato stroganoff hamburger helper. The recipe that I want to follow actually needed two, so I only had one. So I picked up the other one of that for $1.60. And then for that chipotle uh, fajita quesadilla like um, recreation that I'm doing, um, I needed some red wine vinegar and that was $2.21 and then some chipotles and adobo for $1.36. The can's busted, but I'm gonna be using that this week, so it's not that bad. And then everything here at Walmart, I paid $32.70 for this week. So not doing too shabby for this month so far. So today is Friday. Yesterday you saw that I did a Walmart haul. Um, I ended up doing a Vons haul just because there was a few things that I wanted to stock up on that I know I was running out of and that they had on sale that I knew I was going to need in the near future. Um, uh, plus a few things that were on sale that I knew it would be good to have on hand. So I'll kind of share with you everything that I got. I did pick up, oops, I did pick up two cases of soda. Um, these were on sale for $5 each, not the greatest deal, um, but we were running low and we are hosting Halloween at our house. So I did want to pick up an extra 12 pack of Coke and Sunkiss to go along with what we have left. Um, so I picked those up $5 each. The milk was not on sale for $2.97 this week. It was like $3.61, I believe. But since I was going here at Vons, I figured, let me just get three more. It'll focus up. Um, I do need milk for a few recipes, so I know I'm going to go through quite a bit. Plus, again, on Halloween, I'm kind of getting ready for certain things. Um, but yeah, but these will probably be gone before then. I'll probably need more for sure. Um, so we've got three gallons of milk. Um, the Lunchables were a two for three dollars so a dollar fifty each i picked up two of the turkey cheddar and two of the ham and cheddar these are just gonna be for the kids and me and my husband kind of like as a snack or a lunch for them like um on a day i know that they're not gonna have a lunch of leftovers i can just give them that or if me and my husband want to snack on one so i just picked up four one for each of us so that's what that's gonna be um there was the 10 for 10 deal again, and I wasn't sure if I wanted to do it or not, but there was a few things that I did want to pick up. So I'll go ahead and share with you what those were. Um, it was the apple juice, just grabbed one. We still have one that we haven't even opened yet, so just grabbed one to replenish. The top ramens were in the Nissin, Nis Nissin, whatever brand, not the Maruchan brand. Um, these were each a dollar. These are not bad, so um, I do like to have these. We were completely out, we haven't had them in a while. Um, so I got four of just the regular chicken. This way, if the kids want it one night or whatever, they can share one. Or if I want one or my husband, I got him more of the spicy ones. So that's what those ones are. So those, again, were all a dollar. The cream cheese was part of that deal. So I got one jalapeno cream cheese and one whipped regular. Same with the elbow macaroni, a dollar each. Rice roni, a dollar each. Good prices for me. Um, again, they're frozen. So this time I got edamame in the pots for a veggie dish to have. We have tons of broccoli still, so I figured I'd try um, more edamame since I was completely out. And then I did get two spring mixes, so I thought this would be good for like stir fries. So I'll add that to my freezer. And then, um, the, um, yeah, the bagels were not the greatest deals, but they were buy one, get one free. So I believe for one, it was five, $5.89, so $5.89 for both. It came out to like almost three bucks uh, for each one. So it, it is what it is. I've been wanting bagels. Um, hamburger buns and hot dog buns were for dinners and just quick lunches. Those were $1.79 each. And then the lunch meat was on sale for $2.97, um, but they've been, every time I've been doing this deal, they haven't been having it for the Austin Meyer one. I don't know if they are just running low or whatever, or just the ones that I want, because they always want to substitute it for a big one for double the price, which is kind of dumb. But, um, so I just got the one that they had in stock, which is the um, oven roasted turkey breast. So that was $2.97. The weenies were on sale for two for three, so $1.50 each. Not bad. Um, I have none. Well, I have one package in the freezer, but still a good price to stock up on. Um, I was running low on cheeses, and they had these for, I believe, $2.97 as well. No, $1.97. The cheeses were $1.97, so I picked up Kobe Jack, Monterey Jack, Mild Cheddar, and Sharp White Cheddar to have on hand. So I picked those up. Sorry, my son's being a little bit loud. <laughs> the... Um, 
The bacon was another of their like um, deals that they had, the like rollback deals. That one came out to five sixty four for the both. It was a limit of two, so I think it was two sixty two each. Um, so I picked up the limit, so I was good. It's always good to have bacon, especially at that price. Um, for produce, I picked up a bag of lemons, three tomatoes, six cucumbers, and strawberries. Um, strawberries were on sale for a dollar ninety seven as well. And yeah, that's everything that I got at Vons today. And my total for Vons came out to. Um, so my total for today came out to ninety two dollars and fifteen cents. Originally would have been one sixty eight. So yeah, I think that's pretty good when I go to Vons. I try to just normally shop the sales um, and I do pretty well. Um, I think I do really good shopping smartly. I do obviously get a few convenience items just because it's where we're into right now and the stage of life we're in. But yeah, so this is everything from, you'll see Sam's Club was from the week before and then Walmart and Vons was for this week um, coming up. So I'll go ahead and share with you the totals for the two weeks in the description below. Bless in the description below, so you guys can see that breakdown for you, if you'd like. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Uh, sorry, this video is a little bit all over the place with the kids in the background, but I hope to talk to you guys in the next one.